I'm gonna give you a bunch of YouTube tips and tricks rapid fire style, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. One, use your upload defaults inside of your Creator Studio admin to put in repetitive information so that you don't have to keep copying and pasting it or you don't have to keep actually typing it in every time you upload a video. To find that, log into your Creator Studio, go to the Channel tab, and then click on Upload Defaults, and there you will find everything you need. Set your playlist to five to seven videos because you want to encourage binge watching, but you also want to have a decent completion rate on those playlists as well. Keep your end screens short. Instead of the 20 seconds that YouTube gives you, trim them down to about five seconds to maybe 10 seconds. And when you do this, that can actually help bring up your overall audience retention. And real quick, if there's any tips that you have for people that I don't have on this list, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Use singular language in your videos. I mentioned this one a lot, but I had to make sure to put it in here for the people that are not familiar with my content yet. Here's what I mean. Instead of saying something along the lines of, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this, that, and the other thing, I said, you guys. Say something along the lines of, I'm gonna show you how to do this, right? Because you're talking to that one person that's on the other side of the camera, not a whole bunch of people. You wanna create that really strong in-depth connection. End your videos abruptly. Never give any type of indicator that tells people that your video is finished. As an example, you don't wanna say, and that's the reason that I ended up going to the store and doing all that stuff. Or you don't wanna say, and those are my tips for doing this particular thing. I hope you enjoyed this video, blah, blah, blah. You just wanna stop the video, go ahead and just drop your end card, drop you know whatever it is that you're doing. Of course, you wanna do that handoff thing that I was talking to you about a second ago, somewhere towards the end of your video, and then you wanna drop that end screen. Test your thumbnails using TubeBuddy. Make sure that the thumbnails you are using are effective. If you're not familiar with TubeBuddy or you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, I'll put a link to TubeBuddy down in the description below. You know what they say, amateurs guess, professionals test. You wanna be a pro YouTuber, right? Well, get to testing. Go through every single page in the Creator Studio and make sure that your channel is set up properly. This is so important. I do a lot of channel reviews and in those channel reviews, I can't even tell you how many times I have ran into a channel that is, does not have the inside of the Creator Studio set up properly. So make sure that you are going in and that all the boxes that need to be checked are checked, all the information that needs to be in there is in there and that you're using all of the features that they have available for you. Make sure you're adding info cards to the drop-off points in your audience retention so that as people start to lose interest, then you can send them deeper into your content. And the reason this is important is because YouTube says that if somebody goes deeper into your content from a particular video, that YouTube is more likely to suggest that video to another user. And if that is not reason enough, I don't know what is. Avoid using any images, music, or videos that you do not have the rights to. It's against the law and you can get your channel terminated because of it. That counts for images that you pull off of Google if you don't have the usage rights selected properly. That also includes random images and songs and everything off of random places on the internet. Make sure that you have the rights to use whatever it is that you're putting in your videos because all the work that you're putting into your channel, you don't want your channel to be deleted because you used a picture of you know a cartoon character or something that you didn't have the rights to. Of course, depending on the content that you make, you know, fair use might support some of that depending on how you're actually doing everything. But I've looked at a ton of channels that are not doing this properly. So make sure that you have the proper rights to use anything that you use in your videos. Speaking of things that can get your channel deleted, you may or may not know that the sub for sub thing that people do all over YouTube, where they go around and they say, you know, they basically repeat the same comment over and over again. I, I know for a fact, you've probably seen them on your channel. Those comments are repetitive and they are unwanted, which puts them into the spam category when it comes to the YouTube terms of service and that can cause your channel to get deleted. So please do not do that. If you want to be a big YouTuber, YouTuber, start making content now like you're already a big YouTuber. People will respond to that. It's okay to get inspired by other channels, but please avoid copying other channels. I have this happen to me all the time. People are copying my thumbnails, people are copying the way that I structure my videos, the things that I do in my videos, and so on. And you know, 
I think it's cute, but you would stand out more if you did everything your way instead of trying to copy other creators. Of course, do whatever it is that you like, but I recommend that you use bullet points instead of scripts as long as the information or content that you're sharing isn't too technical. And the reason for that is when you're using bullet points, it helps you communicate in a more natural and authentic way because basically you just have the topic to go off of and then everything else is just flowing through and you're communicating like you normally would. And people respond to that and usually in a positive way. If your audio sucks, get an external microphone. It can make a world of difference. Even if it's just a $20 lavalier mic that you clip on your shirt, it can make a huge difference on the overall quality of your video. If your audio sounds good, people are more likely to stick around. Speaking of audio, you can use blankets around your room or if you're doing voiceover type stuff, you can actually put a blanket over your head so that you can isolate the sound from everything else that's going around, keep the sound from bouncing all around the room, which will make your audio sound better as well. Of course, there's the side of enjoying yourself because creating content is a journey and not a destination. Add the Brian G. Johnson ritual handoff to the end of your videos to increase your watch time. This is what I mean. When you're coming to a close in your videos, refer people to another video that you have, something that's relevant to the topic that you're talking about. As an example, in this video, because I'm talking about YouTube tips and tricks, I would say something along the lines of, if you want more YouTube tips and tricks, go ahead and watch this playlist that I made for you right here. There's tons of them in there and it's gonna teach you a ton. Now, seriously, go ahead and click on that and go watch that playlist. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.